We need to make sure we have effective pedalling technique to utilise um, as much of our muscles that we have as possible so that we can go up hills easier, we can go faster, we can last for longer. The polar view is a visual representation of the force that you apply during pedalling. It changes as, as you apply more force and it changes shape in response to how you apply that force in the pedal stroke. So by understanding the changes in the shape of the polar view, we can start to understand how effective your pedalling technique is. So cyclists can use the polar view to help their cycling performance by first of all understanding what the polar view actually means and what it represents. And then once they do that is to actually use it in real time, so to get that real time feedback as they're pedalling, so that as they're using the watt bike, they can start to adapt and modify their technique to create a, an optimal polar view, which will then in turn improve their performance. The pedalling effectiveness score is really a quantification of the shape of the polar view. So it's driven by the force profile, the actual numbers that we measure. Really it's an extension of the polar view in the sense that now you get the same information but in a, a number that changes from stroke to stroke and we can see that through the training session. They can also start to map progressions in that over time and see more clearly the responses to, to different styles and different techniques of pedalling. So the optimum pedalling stroke is really one where we have a really nice balance between left and right, so hopefully 50-50. What we're trying to do is make the most of the muscles that you have in your lower legs and use them appropriately. Mechanical efficiency is the, the resultant of the, the total force you put in on the pedals and also what part of that is effective and actually turns the, the pedals around and propels us forwards. So the efficiency is really important and the PES really maps that and tracks it. So through spending a lot of time researching and understanding pedalling effectiveness, um, mechanical efficiency, um, then we're able to create this PES score which enables us to, to bring a very complex value into a very meaningful day-to-day -day number that we can use for training.